So good evening uh, to Dr. Spandana Jagannath and I bring in all the greetings and wishes from Speed Medical Institute for scoring uh, topmost rank in the country uh, in the specialty of MCH endocrine surgery and uh, the topmost rank is rank number one in NEET SS 2021. So for her phenomenal achievement and I am here to congratulate on behalf of the Speed Institute and for her wonderful performance and achievement and to and share and also to know uh, how she feels and to share her experience at this point of time. And we had earlier discussed, uh, we have earlier discussed with her uh, regarding her performance and uh, her achievement in any SS rank number three in endocrine uh, surgery. And, uh, and she is right now in Ames Rishikesh in uh, uh, MCH endocrine surgery department. And uh, so from here we will take this interview to know more about her uh, journey from Aims is the case to NEET SS 2021 rank number one and MCH endocrine surgery. And uh, your journey after getting any SS uh, rank number three in uh, MCH endocrine surgery and after joining there, then what is the course of action for NEET SS 2021? Uh, so first of all, when I started my preparation, I wasn't really uh, streamlining my preparation into just AIMS or NEED. I just wanted to get in the best institute possible. So uh, when I got my AIMS result, it wasn't like, okay, let me just stop here right now. My main concern was why stop here? As in, I have already prepared for the exam. Why not give one more? And I might as well end up in the pioneer institute, which is a stupid guy. So that was what was going through in my mind. And uh, to get back on the last discussion, and when actually can you quickly I mean, have a brief uh, summary when you started it and uh, how you went through the first AIMS then NEET SS? Uh, so I have graduated this August, August 2021. So that is actually when I started my preparation. I started really late. So I have heavily relied on the speed app. I didn't have time to go through all the uh, standard books. So I have done, I have exhausted everything from the app. I've done all the MCQs, all the videos, everything. So that is how I started. And then uh, thankfully for me, uh, both me and Ains got postponed. So I had time to even go back and refer to the standard textbooks of Clark. And uh, uh, for general surgery, I don't actually read anything from the standard textbooks as such because everything is covered in the app itself. The only thing I have actually read from uh, Sabastian, Bailey and Schwartz are probably the uh, figures and tables that are there. Apart from that, I have just uh, said whatever was there in the app. So that is how I gave my INI. And after INI, um, I mean, yeah, the rank was good. So that was actually like a motivation in itself. I mean, I knew I was assured that I was going in the right direction. And uh, it motivated in, uh, in the sense that I felt more confident. As in, if I could do this in my first attempt, then there was nothing stopping me in doing better and neat. Because a neat is... Uh, easier exam than AIMS. So, that was it. So, your, uh, your graduation, you did the MS General Surgery in which institution? Uh, Lady Harding Medical College, sir. Delhi. Okay. So, uh, so from, from your postgraduate days, your interest was in endocrine surgery. So, so once uh, you have done in uh, AIMS third rank and you joined the CKH, then after that, and um, I mean, you thought of, I uh, mean, settling uh, with that or I mean, you want to uh, give a, a neat exam. And during those course of time, what was your preparation from uh, December to January? Sir, so I believe my success in both the exam was mainly because I have focused largely on the subject as such as in what I just said. I didn't streamline my uh, uh, focus on just one of these exams. So I believe that my hold on the subject was good. So regardless of the pattern of exam that I had to give, I could do good. So I have just revised between the two and have not done anything extra for me as such. And uh, that's it. So it is, it is, it is one preparation. The exam came back to back and I gave both. Now I have a rank third there and one here. And this is the status right now. I don't know anything beyond this. Am I right, sir? <laughs> Excellent. So now uh, what is the plan for, I mean, rank one in... Uh, Neat. Uh, I am planning to take up an SCPGI, but again, there are pros and cons in, on both the sides. So I'm still thinking through. Bond and non-bond. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. So now, uh, I think being a bond there, I mean, uh, I mean, what what will be your uh, opinion to take it, or 
mean, you have a desired. You are not a desired. Okay. So, I mean, either losing a seat in third rank in AIMS Rishikesh or losing a first rank in uh, HGPJ. Uh, I mean, it will be on either side. Who is going to <laughs> lose uh, your rank? I mean, we have to wait and see until the counseling is done. So, <clears throat> now, the thing is, people who finish in the month of August or September, they give the first exam. I mean, and, and through the app and the chat I, I learn, I mean, they call themselves as fresher. Correct? I mean, is, is the term, is, is, is a first year when it's a fresher. So, and this confidence of, uh, I mean, people generally, they feel, their thought process is, let me prepare for one year and try, this exam I'll try, let's see what I'm getting. And then subsequently, uh, if it's good, okay, or else, I'll just give, mentally I'm prepared to give for one more year and do for the next exam. That's how people generally start. Now, with regards to your, your performance and your preparation, you went all out and said, okay, this is my exam, this is what I'm going to give. Yes? Yes. So, so I mean, uh, uh, I you remember when I started preparing, I had started with watching all the videos of the toppers to find out what the strategy had been. So, when I started, and also my preparation as well, uh, I always dreamt of being one among the toppers. I always dreamt of giving this interview. So, that has always been the dream towards which I was, uh, you know, studying for. And um, if uh, it would be a lie to say that it was all just me and I was very confident to start with and all. But I had a very wonderful support system at home. I studied from home, so my family and friends, they were always there trying to uh, support me. And when my self-confidence dropped down, they were always there boosting my morale. They were there keeping my spirits high. So I owe it to them. It was not just me and my self-confidence. It was all them. It's a team. Yes, it's, it was a team as well. This three months is a full-time dedicated preparation for this? Yes, sir. Full time. I have not done anything else other than this. So I should really thank my parents for it. They didn't, you know, they didn't bother me at all with anything else. I was just left to study. So I have done only that and nothing else. And uh, it has worked, and it has it has been. Uh, I mean, you have you have proved that as three months of sincere, uh, dedicated hard work it gives results. Yes, I do believe that because. Is when I started, I had a lot of self-doubt. But now, having gone through this, I can confidently say that as long as your efforts are sincere and you're doing it consistently, anybody can do this. So, and Speed Hack has been uh, an amazing help to me. I mean, I think joining the Speed app was the best decision that I took during this preparation because I have relied heavily on this. And my results in both the exams just speak for itself as to how effective the app is, I think. So, a big thank you to... <laughs> You and to the whole team of speed as So, I mean, were you attending this in uh, evening classes? Regularly uh, so actually, I had, since it started really late, I had a lot to cover. So, I have watched all the videos in 2x speed. I would watch about 30 to 40 videos a day. And that's how I caught up on this. I would 30 to 40 videos per day? Yes. How do you do that? That's the only way I could finish it, yes. I have watched 30 to 40 videos a day in 2x speed. I would make notes of them. I would study them at night. And uh, I actually have attended very few live classes, but I always made sure that I would come back and watch all the recently uploaded videos because they were constantly being uploaded. So that is how I was able to you know, stay on track of what was happening in the app. I mean, it, 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 I'll tell you, it was like for last, I'll tell you last six months and especially last three months or four months, we were working like an industry, the entire team of uh, faculties are like in a, I mean, in a production unit, I mean, it's like a production unit. We I mean, we keep on because the exam is changing, the pattern is on and off and this and way, and we don't know what to do actually. Then we then, they then said, okay, fine, all the students are laying on us, they're depending on us. I'll not know. I mean, if we do something, uh, some mistake and it will topple, I mean, it can be an effect for everybody. So, we have to take a, a position and, and we also are very nervous actually. I mean, what way it is going to have, because it is a year of preparation for certain students from 2020 uh, October. So, almost more than one and a half years they are preparing with the system. So, then uh, then finally, um, all went good. And uh, and, to, and to tell you, I mean, uh, the entire the performance, the entire performance of uh, MCH, all the students, I mean, touch wood, I mean, almost 
except for one speciality, I believe. All the other speciality has scored uh, uh, ra top rank, rank number one, to overall more than 95% uh, of uh, the ranks. I mean, everybody has done well. And uh, I mean, uh, I'm as a faculty and as a teacher, I'm really happy for the kind of performance you have brought into the place. I mean, we, we, what beyond it can happen, no? What beyond it can happen? So, I mean, for you, you can't get more than rank number one for a teacher, uh, cannot be I mean, supporting a top ranker like this and also overall ranking so that everybody can get what they wanted. That's what is important. Okay. So, uh, the message uh, before uh, the uh, interview is getting concluded, what is your uh, one strong message that you want to give? So, my first message would be to believe in yourself. Every anybody can do this. It is just a matter of uh, how well you how well you plan it out and how well you execute it. And there is everything on the app. It is just a matter of how effectively you use it. So uh, I would believe I would uh, suggest everybody to just believe in themselves, believe in the process, and as long as your efforts are consistent, the result will speak for itself. There's no other way. So time to thank an opportunity to thank and this video will sure reach people who thank also and beyond them also so I mean whom you want to acknowledge and they have stood by your career till date and you can take your time firstly to I would like to thank my guide because it was he who oriented me towards this field as uh, such and uh, my family and friends again they were a wonderful support system for me then uh, the entire team of speed it, it was you cannot put in words the the help that I've received from it. So, yes, I'd like to thank all of them. Great. Wonderful, Doctor. And we had a great interaction with you. And uh, I wish you all the best and all the success as a great surgeon and as a great endocrine surgeon. And uh, and, and being uh, point proved and uh, proved well and that you have a very strong positive attitude. I mean, I cannot say, I cannot describe because I come across a lot of students. Very quiet, calm, but very, very strong, mentally very strong attitude and, and belief, self-belief and self-confidence that is amazing and is quite infective and also it could uh, inspire people watching this video and definitely they'll get inspired by looking at the kind of confidence that you carry with yourself and that confidence in future is going to be a great contributory factor to the speciality itself, for the endocrine speciality itself. I mean, going to be the young leaders today for the endocrine surgery in the speciality in the department and you're going to carry on the legacy of this department in years to come and your contribution is going to be immense and enormous in this department. Also, the people are going to get your services and through your dedicated services and going to be huge. And for all that, we wish you all the best and all the success as a great uh, uh, surgical endocrinologist and surgical endocrinologist and endocrine surgery. Keep going, keep going. There's no limit. and and achieve whatever you intend to achieve and definitely all will fall in place with the kind of hard work, hard work, determination, talent and a positive attitude and a huge self-confidence. These are your positive ingredients for what I have observed for over three to four months and definitely you will make it up in future career also and a lot of things people will learn from you and definitely sure they learn from you. Best wishes to you. Thank you.